<laughs> you serious? And the worst part is, it hadn't even been a week yet, and they're already taking another L. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy, ThunderBuddy29 here, back today with another video. So as you guys just saw there, Fortnite once again makes another terrible decision. And what was that decision? Censoring emotes. Like, things really could not get any more worse as they are now. Now before I get right into this video, I just want to say I hope you enjoy these types of videos. And if you do enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share this with your friends, and hit that bell so you will never miss another video. And of course, join the channel today, and yeah. But anyways, we got some stuff to get into in this video. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Alright folks, so as I had just said, Fortnite is now currently going after emotes, and now trying to censor them. According to this one tweet, it states... Fortnite is adding a setting that allows players to turn off quote-unquote confrontational emotes. So as that tweet just said, Fortnite is now making a setting where now quote-unquote confrontational emotes or offensive emotes as some people put it to be censored. Now here's the thing. Who actually had a problem with emotes? Whoever complained about them or suggested that they should be censored? Pretty much nobody. This is just another example of Fortnite constantly focusing on the littlest of things that is nobody's concern instead of actually focusing on the things that actually matter the most, especially to the game's current state. Which, as of now, it is not looking too good. But the real question is, what emotes were censored? Well, according to Hypex, these were the emotes that were censored. Laugh it up, take the L, whip crack, make it plantain. Now, this decision was absolutely fucking atrocious, especially the fact that they want to censor the emotes, laugh it up, and take the L. While the other two don't really bother me as much, but the reason why laugh it up and take the L does is because that these emotes have been in the game for over six years, since almost the very beginning. Take the L is actually a pretty rare emote, and the only time you could ever get it was during the Chapter 1 Season 3 Battle Pass. And never again since then. Laugh It Up was also introduced around that time. But now, all of a sudden, randomly out of the blue, in April 2024, over six years later, it's now suddenly a problem. Because they are too confrontational, and they're so offensive, it hurts my feelings! I hate to be this person, but if somebody emoting is offending you, then maybe you should go take that L and get off the game and maybe get some help while you're at it because it's really not that big of a deal. If you were in that person's shoes, you probably would have done the same thing. And trust me, people have emoted on me all the times. And did it annoy me? Yes. But did I suggest that they should be censored? No. At the end of the day, it's only just an emote. And if I was in that person's shoes, would I have done the same thing? Yes, as most people probably would too. Because that's just part of the game. If these emotes are really so quote-unquote confrontational as these people put it, then why are other video games not following suit with this practice? Why is Overwatch and Call of Duty not following suit with this? Probably because they would realize it would just be pointless or fucking stupid at best. Because it's just an emote. If emoting is actually offensive or too confrontational, then I guess we need to get rid of crouching because teabagging is also too confrontational and offensive. I swear, if World War III happened tomorrow, we would be screwed because how soft our society is getting. This is just another thing that people in the gaming community, especially in the Fortnite community, are getting really sick and tired of. Like, who has ever heard anybody complaining about emotes or saying they're too confrontational or too offensive? Pretty much nobody. It's just another example of how Fortnite is trying to fix things that are not broken or mess up things that are the least of everybody's concern. I mean, over a week ago, they got rid of cosmetic rarities, which that also pissed off a lot of people. Like, instead of actually focusing on things that actually matter the most to the game's current state, they focus on the littlest of things like this. This is just, once again, another example of how Fortnite doesn't care about its community anymore, and if they did care, they would stop trying to fix things that are not broken. They would not have went forward with removing cosmetic rarities or other stupid shit like this. And to close this video, I just want to say this was very, very bad timing because 
They had to do this on the same day Donald Mustard gave the interview of why he left Epic Games. And this just made more people turn against Epic, if anything. I swear, Chapter 5 is slowly becoming one of the worst chapters in Fortnite history. And the worst part is, this current season that we're in now, I actually thought this season was good. But the sad part is, stupid decisions like this is only doing nothing but ruining it. As it just does nothing but continues going further and further down the rabbit hole. But what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed or agree with this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share this with your friends, and hit that bell for notifications so you will never miss another video. Follow me on Twitter slash X. I love you guys and I appreciate all the support that you've been giving me. You are the best, as we are now closing in on 7,160 subscribers. I love you all to death and once again, thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29, sign off.